Even decades after her untimely demise, Princess Diana remains etched in our collective memory as an enduring symbol of fashion, grace, and compassion. Her life was overshadowed by the confines of a patriarchal society, and she experienced a series of ill-fated relationships throughout her tragically short existence. The troubles that plagued her marriage to Prince Charles are well documented, with rumors swirling about her involvement with various members of the royal staff, ultimately leading to their highly publicized divorce. Just as it seemed that she had found a glimmer of happiness, fate dealt a cruel blow, snatching her away in a devastating car crash alongside her newfound love, Dodi al -Fayed. Let's explore 10 mysteries about the men around Princess Diana's life you may not know. 1. Princess Diana and Charles Spencer Diana Frances Spencer, born on July 1, 1961 in Sandringham, England, hailed from a family with two older sisters and a younger brother. Charles Edward Maurice Spencer was the sole brother of Princess Diana, thus becoming the maternal uncle of Princes William and Harry. Diana's father expressed a desire for a son, but it was with the birth of his fourth child, Charles Spencer, that he found his long-awaited male heir. Despite being the youngest in the family, Charles Spencer inherited the title of the ninth Earl of Spencer, as per the tradition of male succession. Alongside Diana, Charles has two elder sisters named Lady Sarah McCorkadale and Lady Jane Fellows. Notably, Charles Spencer had various royal connections beyond being Prince Charles' brother-in-law. In fact, Queen Elizabeth herself served as his godmother. Diana's relationship with her parents, particularly her mother, was challenging, leading to a lack of consistency and affection in her upbringing. Biographers have speculated that this environment influenced Diana's pursuit of love elsewhere, ultimately contributing to the dysfunctional romantic relationships she encountered during her formative years. 2. The Prince of Wales Va Diana Princess Diana isn't the only family member to have a romantic relationship with the Prince of Wales. Surprisingly, Diana's older sister Sarah, born Elizabeth Sarah Lavinia Spencer in 1955, was actually dating Charles before Diana did. In their 20s, Sarah and Charles, the younger sister of Princess Diana, who was then the Prince of Wales, had a brief romantic relationship in 1977. However, Charles' interest eventually switched to Diana, and two years later, they started spending more and more time together. On July 29, 1981, 19-year-old Diana married Charles, then 33, and officially became Princess Diana of Wales. The couple welcomed sons William and Harry. These two young princes played an important role in Princess Diana's life, winning her heart and shaping her motherhood experience. However, as time went on, the marriage that was initially like a fairy tale began to show signs of strain, especially after the birth of their youngest son Harry. A gap begins to form, blurring the once bright love story. Charles' relationship with his ex-girlfriend, Camilla Parker Bowles, eventually mended, eventually leading to their marriage as his second wife. 3. Equestrian trainer James Hewitt In a poignant BBC interview in 1995, Princess Diana publicly revealed her consolation in being embraced by equestrian coach James Hewitt. Born into a military family in 1958, Hewitt's upbringing was shaped by his father's service in the British Navy, while his education brought him to Millfield School as a young man. Hewitt was last seen by the public in 1986 when he met Princess Diana at a gathering hosted by her wife, Hazel West. According to Diana, their meeting sparked an attraction between them. She highlights their compatibility in the relationship they share in her book, Diana, Closely Protected Secrets, as recounted by the Royal Guard Officer of the Her, Ken Wharf. Hewitt, who introduced himself as a riding instructor, learned of Diana's phobia and was willing to help her overcome it. Although it was rumored that they first met in 1984, their alleged dating led to widespread media speculation. This conjecture even extends to suggestions that Hewitt could be Prince Harry's biological father. However, their affair ended in 1992. In his revealing book, Love and War, James Hewitt revealed intimate moments shared with the princess. Less than a year before Charles and Diana officially divorced, the Princess of Wales confirmed the affair in a widely recognized interview on BBC's Panorama program in 1995. Expressing admiration and expressed love for Hewitt, Diana also expressed deep disappointment at his decision to publish a book that brought their private affairs to the public eye. 
Kapoor, Princess Diana and Hasnat Khan's romance. According to Sarah Bradford, a royal biographer, Princess Diana's profound love was bestowed upon Pakistani cardiologist Hasnat Khan. Their relationship blossomed in 1995, during a period of separation from Charles. Fate brought them together as Diana frequently visited the Royal Brompton Hospital where Khan practiced. From the moment they met, Hasnat Khan, a heart surgeon, possessed the qualities that Diana yearned for in a life partner. Normalcy, stability, wisdom, and warmth. However, Khan, aware of the intrusive nature of the media and committed to his work at the Royal Brompton Hospital, hesitated to bring their love into the public eye. He dreaded the outrageous press scrutiny, the potential racial prejudice they would face, and the intense reactions their relationship would stir. He understood that Diana, despite her relentless attempts, could never become his wife. Yet, Diana persisted, driven by her unwavering romantic spirit reminiscent of Prince Charles' pursuit throughout their tumultuous marriage. Season 5 of The Crown captures the budding connection between Khan and Diana. While Humayun Saeed and Elizabeth Debicki portray their roles admirably, the portrayal of their relationship in the series seems to prioritize sensationalism over substance. Undoubtedly, Diana's relationship with Hasnat unveiled the tragedies in her life, the relentless pursuit of the press, her unfulfilled yearning for acceptance within the royal family, and the longing for a life beyond the confines of London. By disregarding significant moments between Diana and Hasnat, the series implies their insignificance. Yet, the crown was always intended to delve into the people behind the palace's grand facade, and perhaps no one personifies this more than Hasnat, who truly revealed the essence of Diana or, at the very least, her profound desires. Reports indicate that they dated for approximately two years before their relationship came to an end. Some sources suggest that the immense pressure from the media became unbearable for Hasnat Khan, leading to the dissolution of their bond. 5. Diana and singer Brian Adams Princess Diana, known for her ravishing charm and irresistible beauty, is often associated with heartbreak, making many people mesmerized by her charms. The connection between Princess Diana and Brian Adams, a beloved singer with immortal love ballads, has fueled persistent rumors since 1985 when he released a touching song titled titled Diana, expressing deep admiration for a certain princess. In 2003, Adam's ex-girlfriend, Cecilie Thompson, revealed publicly that Princess Diana had been romantically involved with Adams while she was dating him in 1996. 6. Childhood Friend, James Gilby James Gilby's name had become inseparable from the infamous Squidgy Gate incident that unfolded prior to 1990. A childhood friend of Diana's and the heir to a gin fortune, Gilby had been in her life for over a decade, predating her relationship with Prince Charles. According to accounts, the duo had plans for a date, but Gilby left her waiting, triggering Diana's fury. In a retaliatory act, she and one of her housemates covered his Alfa Romeo with a concoction of flour and eggs, as detailed by Tina Brown in the Annals of Diana. Although speculation persisted about a potential affair between them, Diana consistently denied such claims, and Gilby, a former Lotus executive, has remained silent on the matter. Nonetheless, he secured a place in royal history as the man on the other end of the line during the recorded Squidgy Gate phone call in 1989. In that conversation, he affectionately referred to the princess as Squidge or Squidgy a staggering 53 times, expressing his desire to embrace and hold her tightly. This highly publicized incident further fueled intrigue and scrutiny surrounding Diana's personal life. 7. Former rugby star Will Carling In 1995, a serendipitous encounter took place at the Chelsea Harbour Club in London, where former England rugby star Will Carling crossed paths with Princess Diana. At the time, Diana was still married to Charles, while Carling was married to TV presenter Julia Carling. Their meeting occurred during an early morning gym session, and although Carling initially denied any relationship, it is believed that Diana requested private training sessions that eventually led to a brief date. The bond that formed between Carling and Diana sparked criticism and accusations against the princess, labeling her as a disruptor of families. This was due to Carling being newly married, and his wife Julia, devastated by the situation, chose to confront Diana publicly. 
Speculation arose when Carling's distinctive Blue Range Rover was spotted in the parking lot of Kensington Palace, where the Duchess resided. Julia voiced her warning, implying that Diana had made the wrong choice in involving herself with their relationship. She held both Carling and Diana responsible for the demise of her marriage, stating that it takes two to tango and placing blame on Carling for engaging in the affair. While it remains unconfirmed whether the involvement of Diana and Carling contributed directly to the dissolution of his marriage, the emotional impact on all parties involved cannot be disregarded. Carling later married Lisa, the ex-wife of former rugby star David Cook, and together they have two children. Following his rugby career, Carling ventured into the business world and founded Will Carling Management Limited, a group hotel company. 8. The bodyguard guy died tragically, Barry Monaki. Barry Monaki, the bodyguard assigned to Princess Diana, is one of the figures caught in the rumors of an alleged affair with the princess. Recently released footage shows the English Rose confessing to her romantic involvement with Monaki. In a heart-wrenching revelation, she accused the security agency of orchestrating his assassination in 1987, pointing to their disapproval of their relationship as the motive. Diana, in the videotape, disclosed the clandestine nature of her love affair with a strong and protective policeman, emphasizing that his demise was a consequence of their connection. During the turbulent period between 1991 and 1992, Diana sought solace after her marriage to Prince Charles had crumbled, exacerbated by the pain of his affair with Camilla Parker Bowles. In her search for love and support, she turned to her personal bodyguard, Barry Monaki, as a source of comfort. The princess expressed her anguish over Charles' infidelity and found solace in the arms of Monaki, who became her first lover post-marriage. Diana and Monaki did not hide their affection for each other, even within the watchful gaze of the royal household. A palace staff member attested to their undeniable connection, stating, it was evident to everyone that they were deeply devoted. Whenever Diana faced distress or turmoil, her refuge was always Barry. Diana cherished Monaki's straightforward nature and felt at ease in his presence, finding a respite she rarely experienced with Charles. As William was a young child and Harry even smaller, Diana carried the weight of the world on her slender shoulders. Observing Barry's genuine interactions with the children, she was struck by the contrast to Charles' lack of involvement. For Monaki, it was a sense of duty to alleviate Diana's emotional burdens. On one occasion, she sought solace in his embrace, tearfully expressing her inability to continue living in such despair. Rumors about their relationship quickly circulated within the palace walls, prompting sudden assignments and separations. Tragically, Monaki met his untimely demise in a mysterious motorcycle accident in 1987, merely eight months after his passing, Diana still grappled with her profound grief. 9. Diana and the Egyptian Millionaire The path of Princess Diana's life intersected with that of Egyptian millionaire Mohamed al fayed in 1986, during a captivating polo match where Fayyad's team faced off against Charles's team. However, it wasn't until the summer of 1997 that their romantic involvement began. Born in Egypt, Dodi had received his education in Switzerland and the United Kingdom. His mother, Samira Khashoggi, happened to be the sister of Adnan Khashoggi, a renowned Saudi arms dealer. At the time they commenced their relationship, Diana was 36 years old, while Dodi was 42. Both had previously experienced the pain of divorce. Seeking solace and respite, Diana, accompanied by her sons William and Harry, embarked on a vacation in Saint-Tropez, where Dodi possessed a sprawling four-acre estate. This public affair marked a rare instance of Princess Diana's public life after her separation from Prince Charles. Tragically, Dodi would be the person by her side during her final moments. The devastating events unfolded on August 31, 1997, in Paris. It was during that fateful car accident that Princess Diana and Dodi al Fayed lost their lives, forever altering the course of history. 10. Diana and the Unmarried Lawyer Guy Rumors of a profound romantic connection surfaced from Diana's friend and former energy healer, Simone Simmons, in her 2005 book, Diana, The Last Word. While these rumors have been largely dismissed, even by Diana's former butler, Paul Burrell, the truth remains that they did have a clandestine encounter. This encounter took place in New York City in 1995, evading detection. 
Reports suggest that JFK Jr., an American figure of royalty, expressed his desire for Diana, who was separated from Prince Charles at the time, to grace the cover of his political magazine, George. In order for them to discuss this opportunity, they needed to engage in a conversation a challenging task with a swarm of paparazzi in tow. After a series of secret discussions about the magazine proposal, they eventually arranged a meeting on a summer day in a discreet room at the luxurious Carlisle Hotel on the Upper East Side. The meeting lasted for an hour and a half, although Diana ultimately decided against posing for George magazine. Recollections from the magazine staff provide fragments of insight into this fateful encounter. One staff member remembers JFK Jr. exclaiming, she's so tall, and describing Diana as being very shy. Matt Berman, Georges' former creative director, recalls JFK Jr. commenting, she's got great legs. Additionally, they touched upon their shared experience of meeting Mother Teresa, engaging in conversation about the revered figure. Great or doubtful, do you really feel shocked when you learn about the relationships surrounding the late Princess Diana? Please comment below, like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Great to see you in the next videos. Thanks for watching.